Table Talk Show. Today, we will be discussing. Monica, Monica, can you stop moving the cue cards? I can't read the damn cue cards if you can't move any. I don't know what to say without the cue cards. Today, we will be discussing A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. Now, A Streetcar Named Desire is a play that I recently went out and saw after reading the, the book, of course. And um, it follows these two sisters, Stella and Blanche. And, um, Stella's husband Stanley and also these other characters who I'll explain about later. Now, when I went out and I saw the play, it was oh, it was emotional. Like when I read it, it was emotional, of course, but it wasn't as impacting as when I saw it. I mean, I cried. I, I cried tears. All right, and y'all know me. I don't usually cry at anything. I'm not Oprah. So the meaning behind the book, play, whatever, is that. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Steven, give me a drum Steven, when I say drum roll, you give me a drum roll. The meaning behind the book is Desire is the devil. Now, we see this in multiple point, points in the book. We see this um, when Stella, when Blanche mentions how Stella settle, settled with Stanley. Who's Stanley's like this 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 primitive monkey creature? I don't I couldn't stand him. Anyways, um, and Blanche always says this like when she said, "But the only way to live with such a man is to go to bed with him, and that's your job, not mine." And she also said, "What you're talking about is brutal desire, just desire. The name of that rattle trap streetcar that bangs through the quarter, up an old narrow street and down another." Blanche and Stella come from this stuck up plantation called Bell Rev. And um, when people started dying, Stella left Bell Rev to go and live with Stanley in wherever it is that they live, Elysian Fields. And let's just say she downgraded a lot, according to Blanche, of course. And um, St Stanley's just, just this, this beast. And he all hit her and stuff. And, you know, he came in on the wedding night and he bashed in a bunch of lights and just ugh and why is why i can't understand for the life of me why stella is with him but i'm lying because i know why he's with him she's with him for something that we like to call desire aka the devil she's with him because she had a desire to leave bell Rio. she wanted to leave where all the death was and this desire to leave to not be alone to not be part of it anymore is what attracted her to Stanley and also the fact that he is all muscular and such. It's a very nice scene of the play. Another portion of the book <clears throat> where desire is seen is that was drawn Mitch and Blanche were drawn to each other through pure desire. Mitch says, You need somebody and I need somebody. Could it be you and me, Blanche? Mitch has a desire to not be alone. He also desires for his mom to see him with someone before he dies. And Blanche has the same desire to not, be, to not be alone. And we see this also when she says, Yes, a big spider. That's where I brought my victims. Yes, I had many intimacies with strangers. After the death of Alan, intimacies with strangers was all I seemed able to fill my empty heart with. I think it was panic. Just panic that drove me from Panic. Just panic that drove me from one to another, hunting for some protection here and there in most unlikely places, even at last, in a 17-year-old boy. Yes, I know. She she had sex with a 17-year-old boy. That's actually why I love Blanche. She, she's grand. She, she really is. In reality, what drew her to the 17-year-old boy and to everyone else that she had intimacies with was this desire to not be alone. This desire to be with somebody. And... After she lost Alan, unfortunately, the 17-year-old boy and the other man, strangers, were the only place where she could find this desire. And Stanley. Oh, this, this, this 
beast creature. Said to her right before he raped her. Come to think of it, maybe you wouldn't be so bad to interfere with. Now, th 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 this, is, th this is where desire shows its true devilishness. When Stanley... Stanley just had a baby. Well, he didn't have a baby, but Stella had a baby. And he came home, put on his silk pajamas, sisters. He rapes his wife's sister. It's, does that make any sense? That makes no sense. It, whatsoever. Blanche once said that the opposite of death is desire. That's not true. That's, no. Desire is death. And this is shown by how Blanche's husband killed himself after this desire led him to a man and he wouldn't have killed himself if this desire hadn't attracted him to this man and um blanche hadn't walked in on him interfering with this man that brings me to my point and to tennessee Williams' point desire is the devil desire ruined stella's life it ruined blanche's life it's ruined stella's life by Making her have to stick with Stanley, this 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 pig man. It ruined Blanche's life by um, her husband dying and her interfering with every man she met with, which which led to her losing Mitch because he didn't want to be with her because she had been with so many other people due to this desire. It ruins Mitch's life because he thought he found love with this this woman, but he didn't. It just, it just it just ruins everything. It just, why am I still here? Are, are we done? Can you shut off the camera? It's just I'm I'm done. I'm done speaking. I'm I'm done speaking. I'm over this. Come back next week and I'll teach you how I do my makeup, my hair and makeup. Hair bear, table talk show. Whoa.